Robots are about to become far more human-like. Social robots will become much more frequent in the next few years, whether at home or at work due to the firms who are bringing these customized devices to market. Hello everyone, and welcome to the AI Universe, a channel where you can get all the latest updates on AI technology. In today's video, we will talk about a robot that can be adopted by a family. A robot which can make your daily work life at home easy, which will help you in remembering your important dates so you don't miss out on any important event or meeting. So without further delay, let's start our video. First, let's see what a social robot is. A social robot is a type of artificial intelligence system that interacts with people and other robots. Social robots have the ability to take over complete job activities in the office, such as greeting and basic customer service. Social robots in the house might become functional enough to act as a part of the family, with individual personalities and eccentricities to engage family members. A social robot named Jibo is all set to be adopted by a family. Jibo is a social family-friendly robot which can help in every type of housework like reading the recipe in the kitchen, cleaning, or reading to the kids as well. According to Cynthia Brazil, head of the MIT Media Lab's personal robotics department and chief scientist of the robot startup Jibo, social robots are about to bring technology to the ordinary world in a more humanized way. While today's domestic robots, such as the Roomba, perform tedious tasks, Breezeal believes that social robots will be more like companions than simply tools. These robots, for example, will be able to recognize social signs and determine if someone is pleased or unhappy. According to her, this enables them to respond more properly to the user. Social robots make our interactions with technology more human, she says. It doesn't seem like a gadget, like this flat item you have to go pick up and operate. It feels more lively, like it belongs to the ensemble. Let's take a look at Jibo now. At first glance, it appears to be a squat, black and white robot with a swiveling head and a flashing grey iris face similar to the Disney Pixar emblem. And in addition to offering basic domestic service, he keeps you up to date on emails, messages and taking photos and videos of you and your family. It will be able to recognize and engage with members of the home. The Jibo robot, designed by MIT robotics professor Cynthia Breezel, is commonly referred to as the world's first family robot. Breezel and the Cambridge, MA-based company she co-founded with Steve Chambers, a former president of voice recognition and artificial pioneer Nuance Communications, launched an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign in August to fund commercial construction of their prototype. When the campaign ended in September, the firm had raised a total of $2,288,407 from its $100,000 target, making it the most successful technology campaign in Indiegogo history. Among those who contributed were New York-based RRE Ventures, Samsung Ventures, CRV, Flybridge, Fairhaven, Two Sigma, Formation 8, and Osage. The Jibo robot is supposed to develop a personal relationship with humans by doing fundamental home responsibilities like reading to children, reciting recipes in the kitchen, taking family pictures, and other useful functions. However, the robot also takes use of recent advances in face recognition software and artificial intelligence, creating profiles of various family members and identifying them on site. Breezeal was the founder of MIT's personal robot group prior to developing the social robot. When she began developing her Jibo concept, she based it on numerous animation conceptions of robot helpers, a subject that has been extensively explored in science fiction and popular culture. She discovered that machines do not have to appear like people in order to have a social character. Ultimately, she was striving to develop a machine that was expressive enough for people to interact with it, avoiding any sense of Terminator-style creepiness. She ultimately chose a small, compact robot with a swiveling head and a display screen with a single flashing iris. And by all accounts, this was sufficient to give the robot a very lively, convivial feel while avoiding any robopocalypse failings. A lot of design decisions were impacted by managing that creepiness dilemma, Breezeal told Forbes in an interview. It has to be human, but not too so. There's this area between familiarity and excitement. It's not attempting to be a human. It is critical to find the proper balance. Jibo is a fictional character. There are several principles from animation that inform our work, such as how it moves, reacts, and shows itself. The concept of character is essential. The design of the robot has three joints that allow the robot head to swivel 360 degrees, follow movement, monitor people's movements, and respond to their presence. 
When the screen is not streaming video or showing a web page or text, it changes to indicate emotions, reactions, and as previously mentioned, blinks and winks to seem alive. The robot is also hands-free, reacting to voice directions and carrying them out. This function is planned to be completely interactive, allowing Jibo to communicate with its users and even hold discussions with them. It can supposedly perform voices, which may come in useful for storytelling, and has a mechanical chuckle, though chortle might be a better word for it. Furthermore, at only 27 centimeters or 11 inches in height and 2.7 kilograms or 6 pounds, Jibo is roughly the same size and weight as a standard laptop. Though it cannot currently wheel itself, its proportions and weight make it an extremely portable design. However, all of this potential technology has resulted in numerous downsides and concerns, many of which have already been expressed by the tech and consumer watch communities. For starters, some are skeptical that the $499 pre-order price or $599 for the developer edition is excessive given that many of the capabilities seen in the promotional video are not yet accessible. The Jibo's current functionality is restricted to capturing images, videos, sending messages, playing back voicemails, and searching the internet. The standard shipping models also includes a few educational and entertainment apps, allowing it to perform the tasks such as acting out a story for children. However, the more remarkable features that were first announced are still in the works, and the business has been ambiguous about when they will be delivered. According to their Indiegogo page, while not everything in the video is guaranteed to be available at launch, the Jibo talents outlined above are part of the basic skill set, and because of the robust platform and ecosystem we're constructing, everything in the video beyond the essential abilities will be achievable, and more. We will continue to enhance the product and introduce new and interesting features with the help of our developer community over time. Furthermore, Jibo is described by Breezeal as an open platform for social robotics, in addition to being a family robot. In line with this strategy, the firm intends to provide developers the opportunity to create third-party apps that may be marketed just like any other. In the next months, Jibo will be providing its software development kit, SDK, to interested developers and enabling them to expand on what the robot can accomplish. Thanks to the $2.3 million they received in their initial wave of fundraising efforts, the firm is now hoping to get production and distribution up and running so they can make their pre-orders by the end of this year. According to their website and Indiegogo page, they intend to deliver around 4,800 units to people's homes. Furthermore, following their initial round of funding, the firm is undergoing some restructuring in order to move into production and distribution of their product. This implies that Cynthia Breziel, the company's inventor, will be promoted to chief scientist, while Chairman Steve Chambers will take over as CEO. Their idea is predicted to pave the door for new species of social robots, capable of doing more sophisticated tasks and executing human-like applications. And while the image of a little laughing robot watching us with a blinking digital eye may sound a little disturbing, I believe we can all agree it's a lot better than some cold, calculating robot looking at us with a giant, blazing red eye. Tell us about your views on this family-friendly robot in the comment section below. Will you get this robot for your home or not? Also, what do you think the future holds for these types of robots? This brings us to the end of our video. We hope that you liked this video, and if you do, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload our next video. Until next time, peace.